Oh, good. A kind face. I have tried time and again to ask politely for my friend's safe return, but they rudely mock me in response. Would you help me retrieve Privet? They took her away into Breakwater Cave. Didn't even ask my permission. Oh, my Privet is without a doubt the most beautiful sheep on the island. Just ask anyone and they'll agree. A swell of Hadolids reside in this cave. They displayed such inner ugliness and took Privet. I just heard her cries from inside. Well, even if my Privet was just your typical sheep, which she is not, that would not excuse the Hadolids' rude behavior. I need someone strong to support my negotiations for Privet's return. How would you feel about joining me in exchange for coin? I knew you looked friendly. There goes a true friend to animals, I said. Now, with you to accompany me into the cave, our negotiations can begin. They may get rough, but I refuse to leave without my privet. I am so much more than a simple farmer. They only think of animals as a source of income, or even <laughs> food. No, I am an animal steward. I serve each of the creatures under my care. Whatever their needs may be, I attend to them. Absolutely. In many ways, I take care of every creature on High Isle. Those that cannot speak for themselves, anyway. Many animals find their way to my home that deserve special attention. Privet was just such a sheep. I woke one morning and instantly knew someone needed my care. I leapt from bed and ran to my door. And just out front, there she was. Oh, Privet was quite the beauty. From the moment I laid eyes on her, I knew I had to serve her. I regret that I didn't introduce myself when they arrived. Such a simple gesture from me could have prevented this crime. Hadalids aren't soft like sheep. They're covered in hard shells with nasty spikes, like overgrown mud crabs. Oh, and the smell. Like rotten meat floating in dirty seawater. They usually live far below the water, so I shouldn't judge. Maybe my scent of fine lanolin and fresh hay offends them. Oh, listen to me gossiping like a child. This happens when I get emotional. Sadly, no. That's the sort of thing I'd learn in a friendly conversation. I've heard rumors about Hadolid attacks on other islands around here. In the past, I assumed that was just bigotry. Now, I'm not so sure. Of course you do. I could go on for an eternity about her. I already mentioned her beauty. But she's also so considerate. One time, I caught her chewing on a shirt. I felt very cross until I realized she'd done me a favor. It was my old, worn gardening shirt. I like to give used cloth to the seamstress in town. She makes patches. But she's old and it hurts her to cut cloth. So I cut it before donating. Privet saved me the trouble. She's great.
skeleton. Not privets, thankfully. I hope this poor soul didn't die alone. I'm still here. Thanks for asking. I should have joined the buoyant armagers. Oh no, Privet! Wait, these aren't sheep bones. Maybe a horse? Poor thing. <laughs> Privet Sash. I gave this to her as a present. Finding Privet Sash worries me. She'd never take that off. Unless she left it as a clue. She wants me to know she's here. The bones we found look 
gnawed on, but none of them were sheep bones. So I feel confident Privet's still alive. What a horrible notion. You don't think they'd plan to eat poor Privet? How could anyone look into those sweet eyes and consider such a deed? Privet isn't food. She's a friend. But I must agree. Very nasty behavior from my new neighbors. We know Privet came through here because we found her sash. But since we didn't see any sheep bones, they must have moved her. Let's search the caves over to the west. I know it's rude to rummage around someone's home, but they started it. From the archipelago to the mainland, everything is war and fighting. But it doesn't have to be that way. I try to assume people have good intentions. And usually they do. Maybe this is all a misunderstanding. I can work that out later. Of course you do. I could go on for an eternity about her. I already mentioned her beauty. But she's also so considerate. One time, I caught her chewing on a shirt. I felt very... Get back, you better! Bones. Ahead. I bet the view is delightful. Oh no, Privet! How can they put my beautiful friend in a cage? We are so good, we must please her. Privet! Reunited at last! A cave exit is nearby. Come, Privet. Let's get out of here.
Oh, my dear Privet. I don't know how I could live without you. I must say, and I don't usually speak ill of anyone except goats, but those Hadalids were awful. Didn't even bother to explain themselves. I'm thankful you came along to help. And Privet tells me she appreciates you as well. No, thankfully. Her wool is damp and dirty, which I find offensive, but she's safe. I'll clean her right up in no time. Please, take this as a thank you from the both of us. I'm glad that not everyone is as rude as those Hadalids. Hi, I'll feel so peaceful. Hi, I'll feel so peaceful most of the time. That's why I like it here, a respite from all the chaos of the mainland. But recently there are Hadalids and rogue knights roaming the roads. And adventurers like you. Too much excitement for me. First thing, Privet needs a bath. She seems a little sad at the moment, but a long soak should fix that. Then I'll make us a meal. Ah, the simple pleasures. I just want her to feel safe again. You were quite stern with them. Maybe the Hadalids caught the message not to bother their neighbors. If I see them lurking around again, I will just tell them they're not welcome. I can be quite stern as well when I need to be. They fell for her charms, obviously. Who wouldn't want my sweet privet living with them? She brightens every room, even a moldy cave. Maybe those Hadalids never intended to eat her. Yes, that must be it. She was never in danger. <laughs>